Next up, we got probably the hardest one on this list. I might have to split it up. It is, of course, Lotus Flower. Give me the meat and give it to me raw. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I have to like split this up and do like half of it because this robot part is almost half of the level and this is what like top 25 even if the robot is much much easier than the rest it's still gonna be really fucking hard and it's half of the level like i'm gonna try and run through the entire thing in practice mode and like assess if it's actually reasonable for me to do this or rather if i can actually do it and this jump is already fucking <laughs> what is this what <laughs> that is so hard Okay, we're off to a great start. I didn't expect that. So we, we skipped that one. I actually didn't even mean to jump over it. <laughs> that was actually what I had to do. I'm a genius. Okay, so the first like couple inputs was really hard, but it actually got much easier super fast. I don't want to speak too soon. What is this? Okay, that's actually not that bad. Right. Okay, it's, it's actually bad. Oh yeah, I don't think you hit that green off. Nah, there's no way. Can I get over the... Oh my god. Okay, there we go. How do I... No, maybe I do hit it. I actually do. Oh my god. No, we don't hit that. No, uh, duh, we don't hit it. Why can I not side read the top 25? What the hell? Okay, no, we hit that blue pad first, right? Yeah, that's some interesting game. I really like the gameplay on this, actually. For some reason, I didn't see that until now. How the fuck that is so precise? This release here is so fucking hard, man. Dude, I literally can't get it. Like, every t There's no way! I, I must be doing it wrong or something. This is not what you gotta do either. Wait. Is this actually what I gotta do? Wait, bro. Like, I've many times tried where I played a level that was, like, way too hard for me. Where I was just like, yeah, there's no way that's possible. And I watched the video and he just does it. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay, but this doesn't really make it... Well, it does make it easier because you can actually do it now. But holy shit, it's hard. How do you hit that pink hole? How? Why can't I do this? I just did it before. How? There we go. I don't know how I did that. I'm not even gonna... Like, I got a checkpoint. Oh my god. By the way, I really like how this level looks. The colors it uses are, like, really nice. And I like the little, the little effect here where the blocks, like, bloom. Kind of like their flowers. Like, I have uh, way too much time to think about this when I'm sitting here looking at the same part, like, over and over again and trying to figure out how to do this. Oh my god, what is... Oh my goodness, this is so hard. I can't, man. Uh, What is this? No? Okay, there's something, some, some like, weird gameplay with the orbs here. Gotta be, like, some sort of trick to it. You can jump really tiny. Come on. It... No, because I missed the platform. It, it actually doesn't work. Dude, I, I don't get this part. I don't get it. Okay, I, I got down here, but I mean, I don't have enough space. I really want to figure it out. This is like a puzzle. I'm like, fuck. It's, it's probably something like completely out of the box. That's just so incredibly difficult that I would never think about it. Okay, I'm swallowing my pride. I'm actually looking at a video. No, okay. Okay, you got to jump off this one and just... Do a really high jump. Yeah, I would never have thought about this. Yeah, see, and then you just barely land on the corner here. Going, okay, what if we don't, we just hit one of these. No, we actually hit all three. Who cares? Okay, here's the cube portal. Yes, I've been waiting so long to see you, cube portal. I am so thankful to see you. Come on. Yes. I am out of here. The last half seems to be consistently more difficult than the first one. The first one, that was just a couple jumps that I couldn't wrap my head around. So from here, up, to, up until the cube portal. That's what we're gonna do. Because there ain't no way I'm doing the entirety of this. I don't even think I can actually do it. All right, so the big question for me here is, how am I, how, how should I do like these green orbs? By the way, I love when levels like do this. I like, give you uh, multiple ways of doing one part. It just adds like, so much to the gameplay i feel like that uh, not everything is just okay play the part until you get it in the muscle memory but there actually are like a few things you have to like consider like what do you prefer probably there's a lot more moments like this in in the level like here for example like here i think you can go multiple ways like you can go here you actually can it doesn't seem like much harder than the 
one below here so there's actually two ways you can, you can do that you know but also parts where there's like only one way to do it it just isn't that it like that clear and you like have to think about it a little bit but then once you get it you know the gameplay just feels so smooth wait what i jump into the pillar and then it like bounces up for no reason like why why does it do that think <laughs> What the fuck is the robot doing? That's what I'm saying. The physics around the robot are even weirder than usual. Like, what the fuck is my guy even doing now? You know what? I'm getting sick of hearing this replacement song. But I don't want to go and get the actual song because, like, I have to probably cut the song out anyway because I'm, I'm guessing it's probably copyrighted. So we are gonna have to do with this ding dong. No, I actually hit the blue wall. Like, how far can it go? No, I knew it, man. I knew. Oh my god, I didn't hit the fucking pink ups right. Ah, uh, <laughs> no way. No! Fuck you! That's all! Yes. Yay! I cheered. I shouted. I fist pumped the air. I oh my god, this was like the hardest robot part I've done so far. And I think this is one of the hardest robot parts in any level like ever. For a mainless demon, this is like nothing special. But there aren't a lot of like robot parts. So this still is like one of the hardest ones. I also only did half of it in the attempt it really shows. Uh, amazing level, I really enjoyed beating this part. All right, next up, we need a little bit of a break here. This was one I intended to do in the very first video, but, but I didn't write it down, so I just forgot about it. So we're doing it this time. Gutizi 3. I think the game crashed. Yeah, runtime error. Uh, my bad, I should have like save and exited. There's almost 300,000 objects, oh my God. Yeah, okay. Nope. Okay, we're just playing it on the actual level. Wait, why does the slope feel like normal? The other one in like Occult Outcry seemed so incredibly weird, but it seems so natural to jump on this slope. Basically just do a max jump right now. That jump like seems so hard, but it's it's really easy actually. Why are the physics around the robot so weird? More than they already are. Hmm, this is really interesting, like this slope game thing here. Like there's these spikes up above you, but you're going like upwards on the slope, so you have to jump like much higher than you would think. Why is that jump so hard? Oh my god. Ah, I get it. Jump higher and then earlier. Then it's much easier to, you know, line this jump up. Yeah, ah, okay. Gotta say this robot part feels really good in your hands. Easily the most fun I've had with these parts. But that might also be because this is like within my skill range again. There we go. That wasn't too bad, you know, it just took a little bit of figuring it out, like the best way to do some of those jumps. That was really fun. I like that a lot. Okay, so this next one might seem very strange because this is a very short one and these are the ones I specifically wanted to avoid because they were like too boring and there's a lot of these robot parts. But this one is just, it's really interesting this one in Plasma Pulse Finale because like I tried to do this a while ago and I just could not wrap my head around it. It was so incredibly hard and there's only a couple inputs. Like it didn't matter how many attempts I poured into it. I just could not get good at them. It just seemed completely random when I would pass them. And I'm kind of wondering, now that I've played a lot of robot parts, I've gotten a lot better at tiny jumps, if this will still be the case. I'm trying to go from here. What? GD has started to crash a lot more recently, I feel like. Okay, so here it is. Like this first one is not so bad because you can just jump right away. But this next one, it seems like there's the only way to do it, it seems, is to wait a split second before you jump. So you also got a time to jump and do the like the tiniest jump you can possibly do. Actually, you can go even tinier than this. It's so hard. Also, because I think this jump ring here, because you got a buffer, it makes it like really hard to do a tiny jump right after because you're like buffering it. So you're like pushing the button hard and then gotta like do a light tap again. Oh, I did it. 
Oh my god, what? I did it again. And again. So basically, I was just not good at tiny jumps. I mean, it's really hard, but you can you can actually get good at it. That's interesting. All right, next up, we got a unexpected level. A lot of you probably don't know this one because it's unrated. It's a little cold, unholy, and it has like this beginning robot part, which was like pretty long and it seemed really interesting. But because it's unrated, I have no idea how hard this is. It was just a viewer of mine who requested it. He said it was hard. How hard are we talking? That could mean a lot of things. We just let's let's like find out. But yeah, this this level seems really cool. I also just wanted to like show this level. It kind of like adds to the already established hill style with some new ideas. And then another one of these. That's old news at this point. I know that trick. Come up with something new. Okay, this. <laughs> come up with something new. I say as we get into that jump. Holy shit! Really like how this the, this beginning part. It has like these runes inscribed on the blocks. You know, this is some sort of like Nordic iteration of hell. What is the land of fire called in like Norse? mythology it's definitely hard but I, th I think it seems pretty reasonable oh i think the like hellish fiery lands from norse mythology is called muspel pine i'm pretty sure that's it correct me if i'm wrong if any of, of you are some mythology nerds like norse mythology is just badass as hell when i was younger I taught myself how to read runes but i could both write and read runes but I think I've kind of like forgotten. I don't know, it's, 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 it's a completely useless skill because I can't like communicate with other people uh, inscribing runes because there's like so many different types of runes from like different ages and different countries. Yeah, that was just me being young and having way too much time on my hands. Wait, this is like already half of the part. I was just sitting here talking about runes and Norse mythology and suddenly I just like learned half of it. I really feel like this part just tries to intimidate you with, you know, with the spike structures. It look, look, looks really hard, but the whole trick for most of the jumps are just that you gotta jump like early. Oh, these jumps are hard, man. These last two jumps are so fucking hard. Actually, back in the day, they like spared the J and then the I and the J was just the same letter. And it was just supposed to know if you pronounced it like a J or an I. Fucking J was too expensive and they couldn't come up with a symbol for it or something. Oh no! I fluked that so hard! I had no... Cough that jump gets me. It's it's not even that hard because it, it's, again, the, the jump tries to intimidate you with the structuring. No, no, I barely hit that. Come on. Yes, yes, I did it. Boom, boom, boom. 50 minutes. Almost 1,200 attempts. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Well, that was pretty reasonable, which was good because that was exactly what I needed. That was just the right difficulty for me. I think I will actually beat this level at some point. Okay, dudes, are you ready for the one you have all been waiting for? Call me maybe. Wait, it still isn't rated. I want to try the uh, the staircase right here. Oh my god, can that pixel art fuck off? Or whatever you call that. <laughs> That's so annoying, man. I can't see anything. Okay, it's just an endurance test to see how long you can keep this up. Yes, no, I forgot. Yes, pretty funny. Okay, it's time for the, um, the finale, the ultimate test congregation. Let's go. Initially, when I did the first video and I did some research, this one immediately came to my mind. And then I took a little bit of a gander at it. It was just a lot more about orb timings than actual like robot jumps. So I thought, you know, eh, this one is really hard. Like. A can probably not do it anyway. And it's not really the most robot-y robot part. Let's just put this one off. But people kept suggesting it, so I guess we're doing it now. I mean, if you wanna see it, I'll do it. So this is like 30% of the level or something. It's ridiculous and it's like an XL, so it's like really long. But that should also give me like a fighting chance because then this might not be like that hard when it's like an XL. You know, as, as I was expecting, the, the old times are really just the hardest part about this. How, oh my god, there's so many orbs and so many timings. It's absolutely fucking hell. How did I nail that first try? Okay, there we go. Oh my god, this... I 
I mean, there's also some hard gem sprinkle on top, you know. It is a very hard level after all. I, I definitely think I can learn this with a little bit of time. A little bit of time, probably a lot of time. Holy shit, these, these jumps are s these nuts. Oh, there's more four of those jumps in a row. That's crazy, man. That is such a tight gap you gotta like fall into. With this speed, it's like four times. Yeah, it ends right here. Oh, yes. 60% to 84. It's actually a nice mix of like all timings and robot gameplay. Oh my god, what am I? It's that green orb, man. It's so, it is so tight. This is too much. <laughs> this is too hard. Uh huh? So here is like the ending, you know, so I already know how to do this. Okay, so the way I see this level, kind of a representation of someone being tortured by his own memories or something and reliving the same ones over and over again. Maybe with, you know, the very repetitive decoration and gameplay but i mean it's, it's it's pretty seamless you know like i didn't notice it was just the same part like could be pasted twice before actually now but you know for, at first it's like right side up and then it's upside down adds a little bit of a variety to it you know well, well, i don't understand how that happens it doesn't happen on the other one it only happens there what am i even hitting oh come on Um, okay, I said come on and God answered I, and I got that back there the next attempt No, I hit the I hit that thing. I keep hitting and I don't know what it is five minute break Okay, <clears throat> I'm ready for some more pressed about congregation Yes, there we go! I did it. Okay. Alright, that actually didn't take as long as I thought. I mean, a lot of the difficulty from this came from the orb timings, um, and that's a little bit easier for me to grasp, versus robot gameplay where I lack a lot of experience, at least on the extreme side of things. I actually really like uh, this part. I mean, it doesn't feel repetitive, even though it's like this almost the same part pasted throughout, because it like switches the gravity, and there's also some like little tiny changes to it here and there. So I am for sure practiced up with the robot now. But I don't know what good that is gonna do me. It's only gonna do me good if I actually chose to do one of these levels and maybe put TT3 is one I would do and maybe Unholy, but like that's it. Lotus Flower, Congregation, Shardscapes all seem pretty cool to me. But yeah, those are just like way out of my reach. Like I don't even see a point in time where I'm actually able to do those levels. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little mini series and thanks a lot for assisting me with finding robot parts because there's no way I would have found all of these myself. And thanks for watching. Now go ahead and have a great day and I'll see you sometime in the future, hopefully. Goodbye.